brackets x minus 1 plus c. So we are told to find the values of a, b, and c. All right. So we're going to use the critical values. All right. So here, let's find our critical value. So we're going to say x minus 1 equals 0. So therefore, x equals 1. So x equals 1, this is our critical value, right? So let's see when we substitute x equals 1 into the expression here. So when x equals 1, x equals 1, right? So we have substitute x3, 1, 3, times 1 squared minus 1 plus 2 equals, right, 1 minus 1 is 0, all right, so our A gets cancelled, all right, and then 0 minus 1 is negative 1, I mean, 1 minus 1 again is 0 here, sorry. 1 minus 1 is 0 here. So the B also cancels. So we're going to have 0 plus, right, 0 plus C, right? 1 squared equals 1. 1 times 3, that is 3. So 3 minus 1 plus 2 equals c. So 3 minus 1, that is 2. 2 plus 2, that is 4. Therefore, c equals 4. All right. Now, we'll find our values for a and b. So we're going to select a number we can equate x to. Uh, so that we can get our value, right? So let's say when x equals 0, yes, uh, can everyone see my screen? x equals zero. Are you able to see my screen now? Um, I don't know who. Are you able to see my screen? I can't see what you're writing now. It's what I'm writing. How about everyone else? Can you see what I'm writing? We can see Maybe it's network. I think so. Let me try to. Okay. All right. So, yeah, we've substituted x for 0. All right. Then here, I'm going to have a, open brackets, 0 minus 1 squared plus b, okay, open brackets again, 0 minus 1, right, plus c. All right, so 3 times 0 eliminates this 3, and on our left-hand side, we remain with 2. Right, zero minus one that's negative one. Negative one squared is one times a that gives us a. Right, zero minus one that is negative one. Negative one times b 
that gives us negative b of a minus b plus c all right and remember our c the value of c is four okay so i'm going to say two minus four take four to the other side equals a minus b all right so two minus four that gives us negative two therefore we're going to say a minus b equals negative two okay so we're going to write this as equation one all right let's try when x equals negative one so we say when x equals negative one So we're going to say three times negative one squared minus negative one plus two, okay, equals, right, we're going to have a open brackets negative one minus one squared plus b open brackets negative one minus one plus c all right negative one squared that's one one times three that gives us three all right negative and negative make positive so say three plus one all right plus two okay equals negative one minus one that's negative two negative two squared that's uh positive four four times a that gives us four a <coughs> no, four a right negative one minus one that's negative two negative two times b that gives us negative two b right plus c and what is our c our c is four so we're going to say plus four three plus one four four plus two that is six equals four a minus two b right then we take this four to the left hand side so we're going to say six minus four six minus four equals four a minus two b So six minus four, that is two. So we're going to get two equals four a minus two b. Okay, we can simplify this further. We divide across by two. Two divided by two, that is one. Four a divided by two, that is going to be two a. Then negative 2b divided by 2 that's going to give us negative b so this is equation 2 right so now we have to solve using simultaneous equations to get our value for a and b okay so maybe let me write it in another color right so we're going to have 
a minus b equals negative 2. All right. Then 2a minus b equals 2 positive 1. Right? So we can eliminate the b, all right, because we have negative b. So if we say negative b minus negative b, right? The negatives will cancel each other out, it becomes a positive. Then we have negative b plus b, that gives us zero. So we're going to subtract, all right? We subtract. So negative b minus negative b, that gives us zero, all right? A minus 2A gives us negative A, right? Then negative 2 minus 1, that gives us negative 3. Right? Then multiply both terms by negative 1, so we can have a positive A. So negative 1 times A, that would be A. And negative 3 times 1, that would be 3. So our A equals 3. So once we've got our value for A, we can substitute it now into any equation, either equation 1 or 2. So we'll substitute it into equation 1. Right? So we're going to have A minus B equals negative 2. Then we're going to say 3 minus b equals negative 2. All right? So we'll take b to the right hand side and negative 2 to the left hand side. So we're going to have 3 plus 2. 3 plus 2 equals. We'll say b equals. I right, so say negative 2. Okay, so the B went this side. Let me rewrite. The B goes over to the right hand side, so we're going to have B here, right? Then the negative 2 goes over, so we're going to have 3 plus 2. Right, therefore, B equals five. 